And uh, part of the development of the school was the branding of the school and really having some great time for me to speak with um, Dr. McClure about his heart and his passion. And one of the things that he always went back to was that in elementary school, students are so excited about going to school. Middle school, they kind of, the enthusiasm, you don't see it quite as much. And in high school, we're really just not sure. So we really want to, in all the students, he stated to me, awaken the wonder. And so we have stolen that tagline directly from him, awaken the wonder, period. Everything that we will do in this school will be awakening the wonder of the students. They will wonder the second they walk in this building, what am I going to learn today? They will wonder when they leave this building, what does the world have out there for me? So awakening the wonder is really straight from Dr. McClure about what we will offer these students in this community. And we look forward to awakening the wonder in this community. So thank you, Dr. McClure. Honor to be here, uh, an absolute honor. Uh, I'm going to start this with the future, um, with the future with a, an old lady, uh, but the future of where where teaching is going in the medical healthcare uh, environment. These slices here, uh, or these images here, were taken two and two and a half years ago through a donor that wanted to be part of this whole project called the Visible Human. Uh, she came to me in 2002, uh, and she guaranteed me she'd be dead in a year, and she lasted for 12 years. <laughs> National Geographic followed her life as part of the package to put together her life with the pictures of the inside of her body, because her passion was compassion. Uh, she had plenty of health care. She had a lot of pathology. She's not the ideal thing we try to teach anatomy with. Anatomy is about normal people, non-pathology. Um, and that's what we try to get. We don't often get really normal specimens. But the Visible Human Project by the National Library of Medicine really was to find a very normal person. I didn't say perfect, but normal. Uh, and so that was a, a huge part of our task, and that's what we'll show you a lot of. But those are the slices, the raw slices, as they were taken. There's polyvinyl alcohol that's surrounding her. Uh, there's been a slice and then an image, and there's over 5,000 images here through her, which is a little different than the data that we'll be showing you next, and that's the visible human. There's only 2,000 slices through his entire body. Here there's 5,000 slices just through the top quarter of her body. Uh, we, We've gone through her entire body. And what we're going to do is couple what you see on the inside while she's talking to you about what's in there. Uh, some of what's in there is pathology. Some of what's in there are screws in her neck. So I am honored to have you here. So he's finally coming out. Um, Alex, are you having any pain? Alex, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm really struggling. It's like there's a weight on my chest. So you're having difficulty breathing? Yeah, I'm having trouble breathing. Do you have any medical problems? I have high cholesterol. <laughs> okay, what kind, what does your pain feel like? It's a tight, squeezing pain. So if you're close enough, you can see that he's breathing um, and he can have a regular breath and he will answer questions. Thank you. 